we are today at the Collier Bristow Gallery and this wonderful exhibition in the future. And I'm very excited to be here with John Greenwood. Hi, Roger. John, very nice. John, you do these amazing pictures with this detail of these sort of creature things, but what I want to know is what are they? <laughs> I'd love to know that as well. <laughs> I don't know, really. Um, no. I think one of the things that I aim for is is to surprise myself. Okay. So or I terrify yourself. Maybe. No, not terrify. I don't think they're terrifying. I think okay. oh, it could be a bit. Yes. Um, okay. Sometimes charm myself, but definitely surprise myself. I don't surprise myself. So I don't. I don't aim to know what they are. Okay. I mean, you have hints, and the more that you, as you do them, you think about it. But yeah. they don't—they don't really start as an idea, and then a, an image comes. Okay. Uh, well, they Maybe. might, but essentially, that's not not. You've got sort of hints of rhinoceros or octopus. Yes. But then other things. I mean, this one seems to be brewing coffee at the same time as yes. oozing across the floor. But I mean, that they're, they're well, that one's called that one's called um, Saint Anthony's Dance. Oh, really? And okay. that one's called Spangled. Okay. Um, How would you come up with the titles? Some, I mean, again, again, the process is never the same with, it, with it, you know, changing pictures. But on yeah. the whole, as I'm making them, as you kind of think about them and you, you know, try to work out what the hell you're doing, yeah, you kind of think, oh, that's a bit like this, and then it, you move it towards it or away from that. So I think the character of Saint Anthony wasn't like, oh, I'm going to do a portrait of Saint Anthony. The, okay. The, um, to a certain degree, he was a figure that I've been thinking of. Okay. Um, so that's like a weird St. Anthony. Well, it could be. I mean, I think I like the idea. I think because I, I, lots of my work goes in boxes, and I was yeah. thinking that they're like cells. They can be a bunch okay. of serious things. Okay. And and the idea of some monk giving himself a very hard time mm. as the pictures kind of develop, there's a sense of, of um, you know kind of flagellation or kind of yeah. self harming in a way going on. Some so some kind of medieval practice, possibly. So I think that that kind of then grows from that. So it's almost like what, what you'd transform into if, if you were that saint in the cell, the weird places your mind would take you. Well, I think, I mean, Saint Anthony is, I think there are two Saint Anthony's, probably loads more than that, but the yeah. two that I, I come aware of. And it's sort of one of them is somebody that people like, um, the, lots of medieval artists painted. So certainly Hieronymus Bosch painted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, he's kind of famous, um, I think, for, is it The Temptation of Saint Anthony, where he's, you know, um, Devils are attacking yeah. him and trying to stop him, presumably being on the righteous path of hermitage. Sure, hermit being. Um, so I can't remember where that <laughs> that quite comes from. But the you know, so in a way, within a cell, mm. um, is, is this idea of somebody trying to maintain themselves as a kind of. Uh, you know, on on the right path, the right identity, and, and you know, there are things around it that are infringing. I, I, I actually think it's really interesting because I'm obsessed that, like, if you go to a Costa coffee shop, it must be a slight bizarre thing. But whenever you go to a loo or somewhere like that these days, they're like cells. There's no yes. windows. There's no nothing. You've just got like these white <laughs> inside right, sections, so and, and and the locks on the doors. You can't see how it locks. But if she was trapped in it, mm. you would just start feeling like that, clawing yes. at the door. Yeah. Um, um, well, I, I, I should change the title, so it's to this toilet then. <laughs> <laughs> Brackets and Costa Coffee, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the weird thing is, I, I'm actually kind of always terrified of those costas. You're going to be trapped in. But now I think uh, I almost feel slightly buoyed by the sense yeah. of sort of bizarre metaphysical it transformation in my head when I was it in there. come out like that, they fall yeah. yeah, survive. Oh. And I can make coffee. Yeah, no, exactly. When you're getting rid of the coffee, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying them. They're obviously beautifully painted, and they've got, I love that sort of sense of the 3D within that place. But should we have a look at the old ones? Yeah. Here as well. These ones have got a slightly different kind of space to them, haven't they? Uh, they don't, um, oh look, this one's actually... None of them have a, um, a box that yeah. within a kind of... Um, as if they're hanging off the frame. So yeah. the, the, the frame becomes an illusion, or is not even a frame. This, you know, this frame is part of the painting. As it's oh, I, I, that's actually and very cool, because this, this is a trompe l'oeil frame, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Where this one actually exists. Yes, and then I painted the frame into the picture. And then you painted the frame into the picture. Yeah. Um, Fascinating. So, so that one's called El Dorado, which was just it was okay. the name of a, a, it was a painting done for a show that, um, of, of an artist called Juan Bolivar. Okay. And, and, you know, so the picture is just called after the title. So that was an instance where I thought, well, what, you know, we've got a show called El Dorado. Yeah. What, you know, what am I going to put in? And, yeah. and I, I suppose it then becomes 
the, the picture developed really with the idea quite clearly of the idea of you know, gold and, and, okay. and chasing your your dreams but some yeah. dreams that are a bit unrealistic that are yeah. probably going to damage you the, the thing that always gets me on this one it was, I was looking at it earlier was this eye, well, I think about it like an eyeball dropping out of the creature <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's meant to be no, no it's not, it's not. <laughs> that's um, completely wrong um, that's meant to be the thing is in front of it but to be quite honest I love it when people make their own interpretation. Yeah, yeah. I don't um, really want whatever I'm thinking about to, to be a limitation on the on the picture. And again, you know, like you changed the, the interpretation of the last one with the, your cost of coffee toilet. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, that's quite interesting. Is having it as an eye because then you get a sense of a face do, in a actually, different way. Yeah. Um, because to a certain degree, these outer parts kind of have a, an ob observer kind of camera quality to oh, them yeah, and then you, you start to get possibility that the eyes are within it being observed by some kind of um, you know computer system. Yeah exactly. They're very um I think one of the problems is, is that something like dislocated eyes is, is yeah. a, a one of the, the greatest yeah. surrealist cliches. Well, no, exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. Yeah, but, but that's your cliche, not mine. Yeah, but if, you, but if you could throw it in here, quite sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Do you draw them? Do you draw them first? Or? Yes, the, the process. Oh, you do. The, 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 on, onto the canvas. The, oh, you draw onto the I canvas. I draw them okay. out, um, and um, and then nothing moves. So and nothing moves. The, okay. The, the, the last creative part is the, is the drawing. It's choosing what the image is going to look like, and it develops a little bit. But often, I, I keep my sketchbooks. I, I spend a lot of time in sketchbooks. Mm. And eventually, when it's like time to make a painting, I'll kind of choose something, or I'll marry them from across the okay. drawings, and then you know, draw them out onto the canvas. Yeah. So, so would you take bits of different drawings you've done, like sort of add this section yes. from one drawing and that from another yeah. drawing, and, yeah. and things like that? I mean, yes. I think that's that's usually what happens. I. Um, I flick across pages, knowing roughly what I'm after, yeah. and, and, and compose it. Do you, do you like Robert Crumb? That sort of. I love Robert Crumb. Yeah, because yeah, it reminds me a bit of that. Um, that's interesting. I do other work. There's a lot more cartoony. Yeah. yeah. But there, there's definitely. What, which bits get you Crumb eyes? Oh, maybe these bits at the top. It, it, it's just a sense of not so much cartoon, just that sort of. Ah, oh, because his cartoons are always a little bit. Odd things are yeah, transformed yeah. Yes, they? Yes, yes. in a slightly disturbing fashion to yes, a degree. Yes. So um, I just get a sense of that creeping through, <laughs> yes. like these sort um, of little tentacles coming out of these bits of metal. Uh, oh yes. I certainly look like crumb. Um, mm. but, uh, I, I mean, I, I need to go back and look at them. I'm not aware. I suppose yeah. sometimes he does his acid trip things where you know, yeah. somebody's going along and then suddenly, you know, fish yeah. appears out of a lamppost. Yeah, I suppose exactly. you're, you're right. Um, but it, it, he does have a sense of you're, you're knocking against the, the world at its edges, yeah. I think, and yeah. human yeah. behaviour oh, and, quite interesting. and, and the, you know, the acceptable ways of doing things. So, so to a certain degree, I suppose, what, um, when I realise I'm going to talk on camera, I think, what the hell am I going to talk about? <laughs> and and, and uh, I think one of the things that, that, that motivates the work is trying to make images that kind of don't readily fit yeah. into categories. So, okay. it's, it, you know, and I think that Crumb has that in a different way, often to yeah. do with, you know, the sexual behaviour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the stuff that I can yeah. think of, but he's done stuff recently. Oh, God, so I've not read that. I've not looked at that. No. So, so th there may well be a similarity where, you, and, and I suppose that's where invention and... and um, so there's quite a subversive element in these, then? No, I'm not a very subversive person, but I'd like to think that the art is more subversive than I am. Something Absolutely, a little bit yeah. challenging in the sense that um, I kind of want to seduce people to like them, but at the same time that, that process of attraction should draw you in and mm. then something push you away. <laughs> so, so in that sense, I think there is subversive, to realise that there are things around which you're not necessarily, you know, feel very yeah. secure with. Well, it's interesting because I was going to say, when you make them, do you feel like they're your friends? I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not that unhinged that I think. No, no, no. But friends, but I actually find them, after you look at them for a while, although they're quite strange, I feel quite a lot of sympathy for them. Oh, that's these, interesting. These little creatures. I feel... Yeah. The sort of sympathetic little. little well, that, that would be good because it, it mm. should. I think that they're. I don't know. They're, they're not heroic. There, there is a sense that they're. they're yes, they're, they're struggling. 
the, yeah. the, the, the independent bits of them don't they've come up together but they don't necessarily oh, fit yeah. together that's quite interesting. so um i think that to to get yeah. sympathy is, is actually i'm not aware of anyone who's ever said that to me before is a, is a very good reaction I yeah. oh yeah. that's really cool I, I've, I've really enjoyed looking at them and i, I do think of them as little little friends okay. perhaps yeah. might be slightly frightened when i saw them yeah but, but, anyway. yeah, but that's my, most of my friends it's like <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, it was lovely to chat. So thank you very much. So um, yeah, guys, please like and subscribe. And uh, I think we've got another interview. So do hang on and you'll get the link. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.